Hello everyone, it's Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and today I wanted to talk to you about Microsoft's wireless display adapter. If you pick it up in a store it'll be around 60 euros, it's a very boring grey box so you'll have to really look for it. But what is this thing? It is basically a glorified Wi-Fi dongle, so on one end you have your HDMI plug thingy, then there's a cable going out for USB because for some reason it doesn't support MHL which would then mean that you don't need the USB cable and you'll have a free port but right now the USB cable is needed for powering the little Wi-Fi stick which is also an HDMI stick. So what is this thing? It is basically a 60 euro HDMI cable without the HDMI. That's really how you should put it and um, well I'm just going to show you how it works. So right now it is waiting for me to connect. It's ready to connect as it says there um, and say we have our tablet we just came home we were watching something on our tablet or on our smartphone or a laptop anything that supports miracles because you do need miracles for this um, you can just stream wirelessly this is a USB cable by the way it's for my microphone so yeah all you really do is you just swipe in from the right as usual um, and then you can just say connect to an external display it'll just treat it like a normal display so you have all the functionality of a normal display which is pretty cool then there's the short blackout moment and then as you can see it goes letterboxing because the surface pro has a different aspect ratio than a normal monitor and so you come home and you can continue to watch your content um, right now it's on duplicate so if you need an idea of how much lag there is guys um, it's fairly okay this lag on this thing so I wouldn't recommend it for gaming obviously um, because there is some compression um, but image quality is still pretty good so what would you use it for well you just took some pictures the pictures are still on your phone um, you haven't put them on your NAS or you just want to share them with your family or friends um, and the best way to do that obviously is on a TV because if you give them their phone they'll be texting and updating your Facebook status with something really stupid. So that's what this is really handy for. Um, for example, also if you're, something I had to do, I had to take some pictures um, and then the client, which was basically just my, my aunt and uncle, uh, they wanted to see them so I could edit them in real time and they were happy with it and I could just edit on this thing on my surface and they could follow what I was doing on the TV. Really handy stuff. Um, what you can also use it for, for example, would be um, codecs that aren't supported, um, usually you'd have to buy an HTPC, um, so yet another box underneath the TV. doesn't really look cool, it costs a lot of money, an HTPC, you'll spend at least 200 if you go with an AM1 system like I did some time ago. Um, and this basically means that's no longer necessary. So yeah, um, I'm not going to go with awards here today, uh, because it's one of those things that either works or doesn't work and it clearly works it's easy to set up you just plug it in and connect to it really um, so yeah what, what more is there to say uh, it's just an HDMI cable without the cable uh, anyway guys thank you very much for watching if you like the video press the like button I know it's a very short one compared to my way too long other ones um, if you dislike the video press that dislike button and you'll make me very sad but hey stuff happens um, you can subscribe you can share this one not that anyone ever shares but yeah uh, and then you can also follow me on Twitter Facebook and you can support me on patreon so that I can buy more things like this and tell you how good they are or how rubbish they are uh, but it's been a while since I did a rubbish product uh, so I might have to go and buy a plastic Corsair case again anyway uh, thank you very much for watching